Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. We've just defeated the fourth round of the King Bulblin. And, uh, we're pretty much done with him. We're not going to see him anymore, but we did get a small key, so we just need to head back. That's really all there was to do in this little northwestern section. So, after we're done with that, we can just go back into the courtyard, and this time we're going to be taking the northeastern fork. So let's just make our way over there. Again, you really, really notice the lack of music. Uh, in this little part here. And again, I still really, really like it. Alright, we got a few more of these guys to deal with. Literally the exact same thing as before. Great spin will do them in. Oh, there's a few more approaching from either side. And a bird! <laughs> Just take care of all of them, why not? Okay, well, didn't even have to move for that one, so let's head on through the door. Now, this side uh, is a little bit more interesting than the northwestern side. There's actually more than one thing around. Uh, most notably, the uh, the bulb ones here have set up a little encampment with archers and little pink guys with swords. So, uh, first off, it'd probably be best to uh, use the bow to take those guys out from the towers. Otherwise, they're going to cause us a little bit of grief. So let's just get back uh, against the door here, pretty much as far away as possible so they can't hit us. Now, uh, we might as well use the Hawkeye. A lot of people have been complaining that I never use it, and it is pretty cool, but uh, <laughs> it just takes too much effort for me to actually go in and, you know, equip it, so. Alright, and there's another one over here. <laughs> Shot both the arrow and him. That was pretty cool. Alright, so we're heading around. I think we're going to run into... Yeah, there's a few more melee guards around here. They don't even know I'm here, do they? Come on, just get over here. I'm tired of holding this thing. There we go. <laughs> That'll do it. Get a sneak spin attack there. So we head around the corner here. And we... Uh, oh, roll into the wall. To find that there are some boars parked over here that, we're, of course, we're going to have to take one. And whenever we dash, we can pretty much just go straight through these fences and we can knock over the towers and cause a lot of destruction. Uh, if you run into the explosive barrels, though, you're uh, you're going to end your ride pretty quickly. So it is probably a good idea to avoid doing that. Uh, I just didn't really have time to steer out of the way there. So let's hop back on again. Sorry, buddy. Hope you don't mind. And now we can head through this way, which is previously blocked off before. This will get us into the next uh, the next section of this little courtyard here. Whoa! <laughs> it's really hard to control those things when they're dashing. Alright, dude, get up. Wake up. Time to go. Alright, we got some more uh, fences to smash through here. Knock over these towers. Might as well. <laughs> Ran into the wall, but that's okay. There's another boar literally parked right next to him, so that worked out pretty nicely. Alright, we go through here, and uh, now we're pretty much at the end of this northeastern courtyard. Uh, we're done with the boar, so let's go ahead and dismount. As we come over here, we can see there are some leaves uh, on this little Triforce symbol. And of course, we're going to need to be using our Gale Boomerang. Let's just you know, get a few spots around here to clear everything up. And I still, didn't, I still missed this. Okay, so when we look at the Triforce symbol on the ground, we see, uh, maybe Minda will explain it for us. Are you curious what's on the other side of this wall? There might be a way in. Want to check it out? Oh, th that was useful. Thank you, Minna. Thank you for all your help. So as you can see, there's sort of a pattern here, sort of a Z-shape. We go from the uh, middle to the left to the right and up. So uh, that's going to give us a clue here. We've got some switches on the pillars. So we go to the middle, to the left, to the right, and then the top one. And as that's going, we can make our way over to the fence. And since we did that puzzle correctly, the gate opens, and we can get what's in his chest. Looks important. It's the dungeon map. So, you know, if you wanted, you can actually skip this entire courtyard. Because uh, the only thing in here that we're getting is the dungeon map. I just, I pretty much just got it because uh, we've gotten the dungeon map in every other dungeon up to this point. So, I might as well do it for the final one. Uh, really, all we needed was the small key. So, you know, as I said, the dungeon map, this entire area is completely optional. I just like to do it. 
So in order to make it back, we get a nice little shortcut here. We can just kind of come along the top and then jump down on the other end. And then that'll let us access the door back into the main first courtyard we came to. So now there's only one way left to go, and that's straight up the middle end of the castle. So let's uh, get on that and make a little zigzag through the trees there for no reason. So we make our way up the stairs and proceed through this locked door. And now we are actually inside of Hyrule Castle. And of course we're going to have a little bit of uh, Ganon's Tower music here. Pretty classic stuff. I mean, you, you gotta love this tune, and it really works here. Takes care of those. Alright, any more gonna come around here? Oh, wow. <laughs> Lizalfos won't take care of those as well. Anything else? Uh, more Lizalfos. Nope. <laughs> you were kind of straggling behind, so you missed my spin attack. Alright, well, that's it. So now the whole place lights up, and this is a pretty awesome open room here. You, gotta, you really have to uh, enjoy the atmosphere. Uh, definitely very Final Dungeon worthy, as I've already said. So now that we've defeated all those enemies and lit up the place, that chest is going to appear over there, so of course we're going to have to go get it. And it's convenient that they give us this little uh, staircase platform here for no reason. I have no idea why that would be there, uh, other than to let us use the double claw shots to get up here. So we can hang on to these chandeliers and drop down to get the treasure chest. So there's the compass. Obviously, you know, you don't have to pick that up either if you don't want to, but it's there, so you might as well. Alright, now in order to continue forward, we'll need to hang from these chandeliers, and of course use the double claw shots to move over to the next one. Uh, it can be a little, like, tricky to actually grab onto the chandelier for some reason. Like, it's not everywhere that you can, just kind of random places. I, I don't know why that is, but just keep searching around on it, and eventually you'll find it. So now that we've gone through that door that was on the balcony, we're kind of going to this little outer ring from the center here, and there's a Dark Nut waiting for us. <laughs> wow, one Dark Nut. It's, it's almost refreshing to just be fighting one Dark Nut. Alright, just one more hit will knock this guy's armor off. Oop, I dodge. Okay, come on, get over here. Okay, Link. <laughs> do the back slice. There we are. There's one, two, three. We might as well just do another back slice, catch him off guard. One, two, three. And, uh, well, I didn't mean to finish the combo there, but whatever, it works. Alright, so, wow, that was <laughs> really easy. So now that we've taken care of him, another chest appears behind him, next to some suits of armor there, looking rather knightly. And, uh, ooh, lantern oil, might as well. I don't think we actually need it for anything, but just in case. So we get oil in our lantern there. Um, alright, now if I'm remembering correctly, really all we need to do, we can put out this torch with the Gale Boomerang. I think that's what we need to do. Okay, well that didn't really help us out all that much, because we still can't get up there. So there are two more torches over here. Might as well try lighting them, right? Alright, well that opens up that one. And... There's another one, so can we get up there from... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I know what we're doing now. Okay, I remember this place. Uh, this is almost kind of like a fake puzzle. Uh, you don't really even have to do that, because whenever you light those two, you can't jump across to the ledge from there, and you couldn't jump up to that big platform. Uh, so really all that you need to do, actually, is just get out your Gale Boomerang. I kind of actually forgot about this. And just, like, stand on this platform that raises, and uh, then put out the torch from here with the Boomerang. So that whenever the torch goes out, the platform rises with you on it, and you can get up here. So that chest, you know, it just contains a uh, purple rupee, nothing really too important, but... Alright, so from here, there's really two ways that we can go to get to the same thing. Uh, we can take the eastern path over this way, or we can take the western path over this way. Uh, the eastern path is generally considered to be uh, the easier of the two, so with that in mind, I'm going to take the western path, because I, of course, love the challenge. 
So let's open the door here and go on through. And we're going to be introduced to this little hallway here. We've got a couple of those uh, skull head guys waiting for us with earrings. And uh, we're pretty much just going to have to take care of this in the next part. Uh, you know what? Actually, I may be able to finish these guys off because they're relatively easy and pretty weak. Yep. <laughs> well, there we go. That was simple. So we've defeated the two enemies, but the door is still closed. We can't do anything to get forward. So uh, what are we going to do? How are we going to get out of here? Well, we're going to take care of that in the next part. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.